What is the difference between coaching and psychology? In this video, we will unpack it with the help of the Handbook of Coaching Psychology. Hang in there! Hi, I'm Nick Redmark. I'm a coach in training and I'm on the way to become a meaning-centered coach. If you want more meaning in your life, then subscribe to this channel because I'm going to post regular updates and tips and information about how to introduce more meaning in life. So, what is coaching? What is psychology? How are they related? The first thing we need to say is that these concepts are more blurred than not because they have different origins, different terminology and recently are being married together. Let's take a look at it. Coaching has its origins in the world of sports. It has always had to do with improving performance. So imagine an athlete that needs to become faster at running, that needs to exercise regularly, that needs to achieve a certain performance, would have a coach, an expert in the field, who would tell him what to do, when to wake up, how long to exercise for, and so on. This then has expanded into the workplace. For example, a coach in the workplace can help you become more performant at your tasks. The field of coaching then has expanded into many different areas of life, such as life coaching for your personal goals, for work-life balance. Then there is career coaching that allows you to choose and optimize your career. There is team coaching, executive coaching. Coaching has always had a focus on the positive, on the improvement of life. And its origin are very practical, not so much related to research, to academia. And it's also a very non-regulated field. Anyone could call themselves a coach and put on a website and sell their service. This, of course, has a downside, which is that the quality of the coaching is not guaranteed, since especially it has not been researched a lot. To improve this, certain foundations have been created, such as the International Coaching Foundation, which issues certificates for coaches and for schools that guarantee a certain level of quality of the service. Psychology, on the other hand, had a completely different origin. It stems from the psychoanalysts such as Freud and Jung, and it has always had a deep connection to academia and psychopathology, which means psychology has originally had a focus on pathology, on sickness, on how to improve something that is not working well. There are some exceptions, but in general, only recently with the advent of positive psychology, there has been a change in perspective. New questions are being asked, such as how can we improve the well-being of people who are functional, who are living in society, who are not depressed, and so on. And we are only at the beginning of this very exciting and interesting research. So psychology and coaching have been growing closer together. And now we are able to take some principles from psychology and apply them in coaching. Of course, one needs to make a clear demarcation. Only a person with a degree can call themselves psychologist. And there are psychologists who practice coaching. Those people are called coaching psychologists. Coaches without such a degree, such as I am, can apply psychological principles, but cannot call themselves coaching psychologists. I can, and I, arguably I should, learn about psychology and about the impacts certain coaching interventions have on the person. But I cannot sell my package as a coaching psychology service. That's it. Coaching psychology is psychology applied to coaching. Duh. Since now psychology is entering into the realm of positive psychology and is becoming more and more relevant for coaching, we will see an increase of the quality of coaching practices, be it 
practicing psychologist as a coach or be it independent coaches who want to learn more about how to make their approaches sound through the learnings of psychology research. Thank you for watching and before you leave don't forget to subscribe because if you want more meaning in your life that's what I am preparing for you on a regular basis. What is your experience with coaching and psychology? Let me know in the comments.